right. Man, I hope this is hooked into my event. I'm having issues with the event, people. I keep trying, but I don't know. Something's going on. Uh, so let's see. Today we are going to go take a walk. So we're going to go outside. It's a beautiful day here in Missouri to do it. Um, but before we do that, I did want to remind you about our year of self-care, which is almost over. We only have two more months after this one. Now remember, October was all about spicing up your crafting, so using the new technique that you learned from September, or um, making something that was challenging for you, or something a bit risque, or um, embracing a color that you don't like in your projects this month. And so remember to go do your uh, year of self-care. I really hope that I am in black sheep when I'm doing this. If I'm not, I'm really sorry, but um, yeah. Anyway, um, and last time I couldn't see your comments, um, so like I missed everybody's comments. I said chain stitch instead of back stitch like 7,000 times because I don't know why, but I did. Um, anyway, so yeah, go to your year of self-care. Next month we're going to be focusing on um, the thankfulness in our crafting. So we're going to remember those who taught us, those who encouraged us, and those who appreciated our crafty results. And I want you to tell me in words or photos who or what you're thankful for next month. So that'll be your entry for November. But I wanted to throw that out there because um, I only have one more um, October event next week. I am going to do a special how to wash your hand spun yarn. Um, when I get back from my event, I get back on Wednesday, so I'll do that on Thursday um, because I didn't want to leave you completely hanging. Um, I did finish my uh, Constellation series star map. So here's the photo. Here's mine. I don't think it looks too bad. don't think it looks too bad. I did put it in the giant hoop, and I did sort of finish the back, so all I did was I used a running stitch and I gathered my fabric and then I trimmed off the excess. So that was all I did, but there we are. That's my finished um, star map. So um, there's like there's no comments, so I, I hope I'm not missing your comments this time because I totally missed them last time. If I did, I'm sorry. Hi. It's really nice to see everybody. Um, I also wanted to talk about, so my garlic finally arrived. I do order garlic from Territorial. Uh, Territorial is located in Oregon, so here's my garlic that finally came. Uh, so I've got to get my garlic in the ground before I leave for my convention on Friday. So either, well, it's not going to be tonight. Tomorrow, I have to get it in the ground. Uh, tonight I have other stuff going on and I won't be back until it's dark. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that I do have garlic that will be going into the garden soon. And I did finish my star map. So I'm very excited about that. And I wanted to remind you about the year of self-care because, you know, everybody should play along. Um, I don't know if we're going to do a year of self-care again next year. We haven't had as much participation as I hoped for, so it kind of made me sad. Um, and it's a lot of work for me to put on year of self-care, so I'm just not sure I'm going to do that again next year. But that being said, let me toss all this stuff in the house, so hang on. Just bear with me. It's going to get a little rocky. A little bit rocky while I put everything away. Okay. Out we go. Turn this around. Okay, so um, this is Ina's little experiment. She wanted to grow lettuce, so um, I'm trying out these silly seedling um, containers. Oh, yeah, look, I've got decent uh, root growth down in there, too. Uh, so I let her just have some lettuce seed, and um, it clearly needs a little bit of water. But I gave her some lettuce seed and just let her play. This is her acorn. She wanted to plant an acorn. Um, that was my purslane. I don't know what I'm doing with that yet this fall. All of these pots I will probably just, you know, empty out. This, this is my super cool snail vine. Look, it finally got big, and I have big, pretty flowers coming up. And I even managed to get um, to, oh, look, there's a third. There's a third little seed pod. So I even have some seed pods. I'm really hoping that I have enough time to um, let those seed pods ripen. These are the Thai chilies that I planted. Um, that was Ina's pea experiment, and then there's some lettuce in there too, because she throws lettuce everywhere. And then lots of coxcomb, some overwatered curry trees. We'll just dump that out while we're out here. Overwatered curry trees. This is a little chive that decided to plant itself in here too. Um, mint, mint, 
um, that's dead lettuce, um, thyme, mint, chives, rosemary, parsley, uh, most of my coxcomb have kind of died back now, um, a lot of the marigolds have died back, the lemon tree doesn't look great, I don't know if I haven't fertilized it enough, or what, um, maybe I need to repot this guy, I'm not sure. Uh, the curry tree is trying to bloom, so if I'm lucky, we'll get some seeds there to play with. Now we're going to go downstairs. Down we go! Alright. So down here, we have, um, this is a big old pot of parsley that I've used some this summer. This is some flowering basil. Um, that's some leftover marigold that actually seeded itself. Here's my big pot of thyme. Uh, I reseeded this with some peas this fall. And then the deer ate most of my um, bean plants from the outside. I did get a decent harvest of beans off of this, and then I just kind of let it go. I have a fig tree coming up over there that my husband planted, along with the peonies, which are dying back. And then here's the chicky chickies! Man, I hope that you guys are there, and I just, I can't see your comments if you're commenting, so I'm sorry. But here's our chicky chickies. So this one in front, this is Andy, he's a rooster. And then this tan colored guy in front, he is the other rooster who has no name. And then that black one is Sylvie. And then one of those three, that the tan colored one that's closest to the fence and Andy is uh, Crossbeak. She has a cross to her beak and so she has trouble eating. Um, so I have to trim her beak sometimes. Anyway, um, I haven't been in the garden recently, but here's the Mexican torch flower. Ooh, and butterflies. The butterflies loved the Mexican torch flower. So did the bees and the moths. Oh, look, I have a tomato plant that has been eaten on by the deer and yet is trying to produce more little cherries for me. I had issues with my tomatoes this year. I had a fungal infection that really cut them down. Um, all right, these are my sweet pepper plants, which are still producing, except for this one, which is apparently a frickin' hot pepper plant. These are hot. Uh, I found that out accidentally one day. Here's a borage plant that decided to reseed itself, too. Um, but I can, I, you can clearly see I've got some nice red peppers that need to be coming off soon. Uh, and we are almost to the end of our pepper season. Oh, I've got some nice orange ones in there, too. See that nice orange guy over in there? Those are the little, well, they're kind of yellow, but if I leave them on too long, they turn oranger. Um... That's, I think, the yellow sweetie. Super, super tasty. Uh, here I've got, this is a jalapeno that I clearly let go too long, so it's red. This is my hot pepper section. Look at how tall my hot peppers are. They are huge. Uh, I have lots and lots of hot peppers, and clearly I need to get out here and get this picked. Well, it's not going to be tonight. It'll have to be tomorrow. Uh, and then I had a bunch of eggplant, but the deer, again, we're eating the edges through the fence line on my eggplant. So, uh, but I've had plenty of eggplant. I've I've had so much that, like, I've ended up throwing some away because I can't keep up with it. Oh boy, there's some like that's a big one down in there. Isn't that one pretty? Mm. Those won't be hot. They better not be hot. Okay, uh, the pumpkins are finally dying back, but I've got some nice pumpkins in here still. And, uh, let's see, I have more eggplant over here. So, oh, well, that one's no good. This one has, uh, this is an eggplant. It's kind of, like, crazed. I'll just get rid of that guy. Um, yeah, so more eggplant. This one's actually Patio Baby. This is an excellent, um, varietal. It puts out tons and tons of these little guys. This is the size you eat them at. A nice, bright, shiny purple. You don't let them turn dull. But, oh, yeah, man, I've definitely got to get out here. Look at this. Oh, look at all my ripe peppers, and oh boy, yep, I've got all kinds of stuff in here. Now, the cucumbers have died back, and my tomatoes, uh, like I said, I had a fungal infection, so the tomatoes didn't do very well. Um, I should have used the neem oil earlier, but I didn't get it done. So that's something I have to remember for next year. I also have tons of weeds. So many weeds. Um, but there we go. So this is kind of my dying back. I have a few tomatoes that are still okay, but my dying back section of my garden. 
And then there's the pumpkins, which just kind of took over everything. So something hit my melons, and they all died off, like, at the same time. Um, but the pumpkins, there's another one right there. That one's not ready yet. Oh, and this is a different varietal. This one is winter luxury. So this one will have green crazing and orange um, flesh. And that one's really cool. And then that one's another Long Island cheese. I have lots of those Long Island cheese. And then I had tucked a bunch of these uh, coxcomb. Oh, look, that nice little bee right there. Um, a bunch of these coxcomb in kind of everywhere. Oh, there's another nice pumpkin over there. Boy, I got to get out here and get some pumpkins too. Man, I got too much stuff to do. Um, let's see. This was a bin, a bin, <laughs> a, um, a bed of, um, a lot of basil, but I picked it really hard and then kind of let it go to seed at the very last minute so it doesn't look good at all. Um, I'm probably going to tear all of this out and put the garlic in here tomorrow. Maybe, maybe oh. not. Um, and then I've got some really hot little Thai peppers up in here. Um... And then this, this is like a black Hungarian pepper. Uh, let's see, what else have I got? I don't even know. I think these were either, I think these are leeks, but I only had a few of those. Um, I've got some hot peppers kind of over in that area and some okra still trying to come up and lots of, lots of pumpkins. The pumpkins really kind of just took over. That was not intended. This is not how I tried to plant my garden this year, but it's what happened. Um, and then over here I have, look at this enormous, enormous coxcomb uh, that popped up. And then this um, cauliflower, unfortunately, went to pot. Um, but this one, this one's looking nice. I'm going to get a decent cauliflower off of that head. And then the chickies have been, like, eating the bugs off the top soy over here. There's just a few carrots left in there. There's a bunch of beets in here. But you can clearly see I've got bug problems. Um, this is some mustard that I planted late. This one's either Frizzy Lizzie or Frizzy Joe. So I've got the red one here and the green one there. And then, uh, yeah, that's kind of, that's a view of my garden. Clearly I've got a lot to get done in the garden before I um, take off from my convention on Friday. And that includes grabbing some pumpkins because, boy, there's a lot of pumpkins out in here. A lot of pumpkins. Some of these will not ripen before we get a frost. A lot of them will. And I have a lot of red peppers I need to pick. A lot. Okay, and then here's our ducks. So now we're gonna take a little walkie walk. Go say hi to the duckies. So, hang on. Hello, duck ducks. I'm not sure if they're going to be amenable to this. But we're going to go out here. Hi, duckies. So, I still have four ducks right now. Um, so, there's one black. The two blues are boys. And then the almost white one is actually a silver. Uh, so, the black and the silver are staying. And then... That big male with the dark orange beak is staying, and then the other guy is going to a friend. But I gotta make plans to get him over there um, soon, really soon. So, anyway, that's the duckies. And then this is my pond. So, here's my pond. And my husband put a new floating dock on because ours was, well, it was really bad, it was rotting and coming apart. So, hang on. Woo! Anyway, so that's a quick little run through my garden. I got all kinds of things going on there, don't I? Uh, and all the chickens. So, hang on. And I will uh, head to the bunny barn. I know I usually keep you guys out of the bunny barn, but I finally have most of my cages semi-cleaned. So, I'm not going to show you the whole barn I'm going to go find you a baby. So I know that I said I would do that eventually. I'm going to go find you some babies. Because I did have babies. So. And I am still in the process of cleaning my barn before I leave for convention. So I got to scoop poop. It's a never ending job. Always scooping the poop. So. Anyway. 
Hang on here. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're in the barn. And, uh, let's see. Find you some babies. So here's some ba babies. Say hi, babies. Hi, babies. That's one of my mom's. Here. There we go. Now this is, <laughs> you guys may not know this, but little bunnies, when they're born, they're born uh, blind and uh, deaf and hairless. And this one's mom chewed its little ears off. So that happens sometimes. So these guys are brand new. Hang on. Here we go. This is a brand new one. This one's a little lilac. Little lilac guy. There we go. Yeah, so a tiny little itty bitty baby. Uh, and I do raise mine for meat and show. So mine are not fiber rabbits. Um, rabbits actually pull fur. That's what's in uh, this nest over here is there's fur. So this is fur from the doe. And she's pulled fur to keep her babies warm. So let's see. Here's a litter. This one's not doing very well. It's, it's kind of small and anyway, these guys are doing a lot better. Um, and they're, let's see, so these were born the 17th of September. Today's the 20th. So these are like 33, 34 days old. So that's how big they are. And uh, anyway, they grow really fast. So there is just a little tiny glimpse in the bunny barn. Um, you know, it's, there's always something to be done. It's definitely not as clean as I would like it to be. It's never as clean as I would like it to be. Um, and I do have help, finally. Uh, so I have um, kind of a neighbor kid that's starting to come over and help me get everything cleaned out because, you know, by the time I do <laughs> black sheep and Kokomo and slow crawl and rabbits and the garden and Ina, I just don't have enough time to get everything done. So. Um, how many, how many rabbits do I usually have? Uh, let's see, Leanne. So usually I have somewhere around, um, 80 adults in the barn. And then, uh, I have anywhere from zero to like a hundred babies and grower rabbits. And so it really just kind of depends on, um, how many, how many babies I have in the nesting boxes and how many um, I've held back to grow out. Because I do show, and I do like to show some. I haven't shown much, of course, the last couple of years. But anyway. Um, and before we go, I do bring you out here on the porch sometimes when I'm doing my, um, for my, when I'm doing my live videos. So I just wanted to show you all the plants on the porch. I finally managed to give away a few of those aloes, but good heavens, I have more that need to go away. Um, my poor Thanksgiving cacti. These were, this one was my grandmother's and so was this one. And it has like one decent chunk up here, but this got like way too much sun this summer. Um, and then down here I have, this one's Christmas cactus, Easter cactus, and Thanksgiving cactus. This one I got too much water last summer and I didn't realize it and then this whole section rotted out. So I'm trying to uh, sort of bring that one back to life. But you can see that it is starting to bud. Um, they're all gonna bloom too early, of course. So, um, let's see, this one's got buds too. This one also, when they start turning pink like this, they have too much um, sun. They're getting too much sun. So I don't know exactly what happened. Here's Charlie. He's my outside kitty. He's a uh, mouse patrol in the barn. Anyway, and then I have orchids. Just a few. That's another orchid. These are little Easter cacti that I grew from seeds. So maybe one day they'll be big enough to bloom. Maybe. And then I cracked some of uh, these guys off and stuck them over here to see if they would root. But they don't look very good. I don't think I kept them wet enough. Anyway. And then I put out just a few little pumpkins. Um, although clearly I have a lot in the garden. And this is my Wandering Dude. It was called Wandering Jew, but we've decided that that's not a very good name. And it was actually blooming. Check this out. It was blooming. I don't know if I can get that in 
And let me see here. Here's one. They have purple flowers when they bloom. It's the first time I've had it bloom um, since I've had it. But um, I just keep cracking it off. This is an old canning pot. So I just keep cracking pieces off and putting it back in and making it full every year because as it grows, it loses the leaves. So anyway. Whew! All right, so that's just sort of a little quick tour of um, the garden, the bunnies, and all those other things that I do um, besides <laughs> Slow Yarn Crawl, Kokomo Yarns, um, Black Sheep Fiber Emporium, and these videos every week. Um, but anyway, I am trying to get around and get all of my stuff together so that I can leave on Friday morning. Um, I have to take Ina with me. I'm dropping her off with a friend. She's going to spend like the weekend with my friend, and then I'm going to go get her Tuesday and either come home Tuesday night or Wednesday morning. So, yeah, I got lots of stuff to do. Um, lots of stuff to do. So, anyway, um, I'm gonna let you guys go for now. I will see you next week. Um, don't forget to do your year of self-care posts. Make sure that you tag us, Black Sheep Fiber Emporium, or BSFE, so that we make sure um, you're entered in the monthly contest. And remember, it can be anything. It doesn't have to be related to the actual um, like monthly theme at all. Um, I mean, it's cool if it is, but it doesn't have to be. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Your self care. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just trying to remember. We have a big sale coming up. It's going to start October 26th. There should be a newsletter. I have to get a newsletter done before I leave too. Hopefully coming out on Friday. Um, I'm trying to get some pre-order stuff in because we're going to order, um, there's like a Japanese advent if you like to embroider, super cute. Um, there are brooch pens if you like to make your own embroidery. Uh, what else did I put in there? We've got um, a cute, really, really cute clover darning um, mushroom set. Um, and oh, and the clover mini looms. I'm putting a whole bunch of stuff in pre-order. Um, so if you want it, like search pre-order on the website <laughs> and see what all pops up because there's a bunch of stuff going up. Um, so that we can make yet another order to Japan. Um, with all of their fun stuff because we just keep finding more and more fun things there. So anyway, um, so I raise rabbits, um, Leanne, for uh, meat and I also raise them uh, to sell and to show myself and um, I do, uh, I have, we have three, just over three acres here. Um, and we are just constantly trying to put more stuff out. So we actually, you can't see them, but I, we're, we started putting some fruit trees in up front. We have some fruit trees and grapevines along the side. We've got the one acre pond, almost an acre pond. It's like 0.8 or something. Um, and then I have the chickens and the ducks and the giant garden. And the garden, I'm trying to transition everything to raised beds and then put in um, wood chip pathways. And I'm trying to use the bedding out of the duck house and the chicken house to help make those pathways <laughs> so that, um, you know, it's sort of a good use of their, like, litter. Uh, but anyway, I'm not there yet, and I have tons and tons of weeds this year because I just couldn't keep up with the weeds, and even though I told my husband that it was really important to get the walkways put down, it just didn't quite happen. So we ended up with a lot of weeds and a lot of pumpkins instead. Anyway, all right, so I'm going to let you guys go. As I always say, take care of yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, craftily. Make sure that you are doing at least 15 minutes of crafting, like, every day if you can. Um, I will try to get this video uploaded today. That's another goal um, because I'm, I'm trying to keep up on that. And I will see you all next week. Remember, I won't be here Monday, Wednesday. I'm going to do a special 3 o'clock my time, central time. So that's 1 o'clock Pacific on Thursday on... Um, washing your hand spun yarn since we did that whole big thing with spin together <sighs> all right so i will see you guys next week for that special and then i'll be back again that following monday we're going to talk about knitted lace uh november 1st which is the day before my birthday so you should probably tune into that one because there might be a surprise just saying all right bye guys <laughs>